What is your experience about uh, this forum? Can you share with us? Well, uh, first of all, I feel honored because I think I want, I'm one of the youngest people who is assistant to this forum. And I feel very blessed and honored to be here and to learn from this such amazing, amazing panel of, uh, of people who came to this forum these past days. Um, I, I cannot express with words because I'm, I'm a migrant. Uh, I'm from Venezuela. I'm now living in the U.S. I know, I, I, I feel the fear, I feel the, I miss, I miss my family, so I have all, all these feelings that I can feel uh, connected with these people, and as ambassador, as a global ambassador of this Calabrian Immigration International Network, uh, I try to stand up and use my voice and my platform to connect with all these people that deserve a second chance, a second chance to be reintegrated to a different community, because this is a global era. Is a globalization which we don't have to say in our country to be able to pursue happiness and to pursue new opportunities. So being able to be here and learn and hear so many great uh, ideas, projects, strategies, and things that are already happening around the world is just amazing. And, and as the Pope Francis say, uh, it's about giving back the dignity to these people that deserve it as a human right. Um, it's about inclusion, as Cardinal uh, Pietro Parolin say, to create a inclusion, economy inclusion, um, and I just feel blessed to be here. I'm, I'm still learning, <laughs> so little by little. Do you think that uh, the countries in this moment are doing enough uh, for, uh, for political of welcome? Well, as all this uh, forum is about, it's for pass from reaction to action, I think uh, we have a lot of things to do. Um, as a country, as a citizen of, of each country, and as a migrant, because we became a part of a country. Sometimes uh, the migrants are seen as a, not part of the economy and not part of the, the development of, of the country, but on the other hand, we are the motor, we are the engine of the development of the country and the economies and everything. So I do believe that we can do more. I do believe that uh, every government and every country have a lot of things to do, and hopefully for the next few years we can see uh, more action. I stand up for particularly for girls and women and the issue of human trafficking especially uh, is very important for me because I I use my voice to defend the girls and, and that voice is that they don't have the opportunity to stand up and human trafficking immigration they're really well connected they're really connected and it's something that I really feel passionate about it because these girls deserve an opportunity, an opportunity to grow, to health care, an opportunity to go to the schools and receive education and be someone and become someone in life. So coming from Venezuela, a country which uh, we have been struggling in the past few years, years ago Colombians went to Venezuela for a better opportunities. Now people from my country, Venezuela, is looking forward a better opportunities in different countries as Colombia, Panama. Um, they're going by car to Peru, Chile, or by boat to Curacao and Aruba. So now people in my country is looking for better opportunities. And the most affected, of course, is the kids and the children. With, I, I feel passionate about it because they deserve a better chance. So I hope as a citizen of the world and a Venezuelan can be, I, I hope I can learn more of all this foreign and I can do more for my people.